everyone. My Pachico friends, anyone else who's watching, good morning, happy Monday. Um, it's 9.30, so it's time for some phonics with Ferrara. Okay. So today what we're going to do is we're going to be learning about digraphs. A digraph is two letters that come together to make one sound. What's a digraph again? Show me. Two letters that come together to make one sound. Very good. So some examples of digraphs are SH, TH, CH, and CK. The signs for these are as so. SH, shh. What does SH say? Shh. Good. TH. TH says CH ch, ch, ch. and CK k, k, k. good job you practice them SH says TH CH and CK good job All right, so before we begin, we're going to practice our sounds, okay? Let's practice our sounds and our signs. Mmm. Ah. Err. another example of a digraph that I hadn't written up there. This is another example because it's two letters that come together to make one sound. Wha. All right, we're going to move to our next um, part today. So today we're going to be building some words. The words that we're going to be building today, some of them will have digraphs. Okay. So let's tap in. Um, we're going to tap out some of our words. Here we go. R, uh, sh, put it all together. R, uh, sh, what's the word? I thought Rush. Nice job. Mama, I thought you said, um, I thought you said sh to me. I thought you only said sh to me. Okay, Eve, you gonna help? Yep. Yeah. All right, ready? Ah, what's that word? Pack. Nice job. Oh, I see another digraph here. We have ch, ah, uh, ch, ah, uh, chop. Chop. Nice like, job. Like chomp. No, it's like chomp. Yeah, but it's only like that. Here's our next one. What does this say? What sound does that make? Put that down. What sound does that make? Mmm. Ah. Nice job. Math. Good. Mmm. Ah. Math. Excellent. I do math. You do? Yeah. You do math with mommy? Yeah. Good. W H. Remember that says wha. Wha. You have to tell me if you can use that word. Mama. Whip. Stop. Whip. Like rip. 
is another one. Let's tap this one out, my friends. Who can tap this one out? Luck. Luck. Good. Wait, lucky. Let's tap this one out. There's that diagraph. Shh. It. Put it all together. We have ship. Good. And our last one for today is what? Ish. What's that word? Wish. Just like we wish we were in school. Wish. Nice job. All right. Now, after we read, after we read those, let's see if you can put them all together in a whole word. So instead of tapping it out, try and tap it out in your head. Say the sounds in your head, and read the whole word out loud. Okay. So here we go. Ship. There's a dot. There's that diagraph there. Sh it. Ship. Thud. Is that fun? Quick. Good job. Dash. Nice. Pop. It's like pop a balloon. Dad, whip, pipped, lug, chip, whiff. Good job. See that diagraph at the end? Packed. You should be able to tap these out in your head. Dish. Much. Is that diagraph? Neck. Good job. Nice. All right, we're going to move on to our high frequency words, our sight words, and I mixed them up this time, so I'd like you to try and read them with me, okay? I, the, was, go, her, like, it's like like for, that's helping you, from, it's like, of, it's like from school, did, and had on a his is nice job. Eva, shh, shh, shh. no singing. Go over there if you want to sing, please. Okay. okay, don't sing. Don't. The last thing that we're going to do today before I give you an activity that you can do at home is we are going to learn how to scoop some phrases today, okay? We're going to learn how to scoop some phrases. Eva! Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> okay. So this is on his chin. And when we are just learning to read, we learn how to read. We point to each word and we read it on his chin. But now that we're learning, especially my first graders, we want to read with fluency and accuracy. So accuracy means we want to read it correctly. And fluently means that we want to read it like we talk. So we don't talk like this on his chin, do we? No, we would say on his chin. So that's how we want to be reading, okay? 
What you want to do is start here and you want to scoop. So instead of picking up your finger every time you're reading, you want to scoop it on his chin. On his chin. Let's try another one. You can read it in your head first and then practice scooping. So in my head, I would say, with his dad. Okay, so then I would scoop it and I would say, with his dad. Let's practice those again. On his chin with his dad. Nice job. Here we go, we have a couple more to practice. I hope you can see these. The next one, in the bath. In the bath. Good. It's in the bath. At the dock. At the dock. A dock is a place that's um, in the water where you would put a boat. Okay, at the dock. Let's practice these again. On his chin, with his dad, in the bath, at the dock. Nice job, everyone. Good job fluently reading. Practice these fluently. Don't read them like a robot, read them fluently, okay? And parents, if you're watching, I'm going to put up some, um, I'm going to take a better picture of these, but I'm going to put these up. These are some words that you can just point and read. And then I'm also going to put up um, some phrases, just like the ones that we did here, that you can have them scoop as they're trying to read. That's especially really good for first graders, um, the scooping, and even some of our second graders could use um, some of the scooping, okay? So before we um, leave today, what I want to do is um, give you a fun activity that if you have paper and crayons at home, you can practice your digraphs, okay? All right, I hope you can see it. So this fun activity is digraph caterpillars. So all you would have to do is get a piece of paper and a pencil, a marker, a crayon, anything you have, and you can make your little digraph cat, um, caterpillars. So <clears throat> I put the digraph right here. Digraphs, remember, are two letters that come together to make one sound. So the first digraph I have on my first digraph caterpillar is the digraph SH. And what you're going to do is see how many words you can think of that have the digraph SH. Let's practice. Does anyone have one? I can think of one of the words that we read, wish. Good, so I'm gonna write that here. Wish. There's my digraph, wish. Good, you can also do it in the beginning of the word. Can anyone think of one that starts with the sh sound? I can think of the word shed, which is a small little uh, kind of place that you might put a bicycle or a lawnmower. Shed, what does that start with? Sh, starts with S-H-E-D. Shed, there's my digraph. Good. The next one is So you can think of it, does it have it in the beginning? Does it have the digraph at the end? Maybe like the word bath that we just read. Bath. B. Like I bath. took a bath last night. You took a bath last night, that's right. Bath. Okay. Yeah. And the last one is ch, ch, ch. Like the word chop. Ch, op, ch, op, chop. And there's my digraph. So I would love it if you could draw this, try your very best, it's just circles, put some digraphs, write as many words, see how long those caterpillars could be for each digraph, write as many words as you can, and have your parents take a picture, send it to us on Facebook, Messenger, Dojo, um, also I believe all of our videos are going to be on our YouTube channel. So stay tuned, uh, keep up the good work, have fun, stay safe. Um, and we hope to see you soon. Bye, everyone. Say bye, Eve.
Say bye. 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 I, I already said bye. Oh, okay. There can she I, is. Can I send them a little picture on my camera? Why don't you give them a kiss? Mwah. Say bye, everyone. I can't give no one a kiss at work. Okay, you can blow them, though.